injury bug hit the officials tonight. We only have two out there. There are only two. It's Curtis Blair and Gediminas Petritus. Derek Richardson was scheduled to work tonight's game, but we will open up with two officials. The tip is won by the Cavaliers, and we are underway. And we also see Damian Dotson out here to get the start. It was supposed to be Colin Sexton back in that starting lineup as Agora weaves himself to the rim, lays it up and in. They probably waited to see how he felt after he came out prior to the game. How, how much pressure could he put on him? We see the little fade on the inside there by Dylan Brooks. Obviously, going back inside, talking with the doctors, trainers, they decided best to keep him out of the game. Drummond upstairs to Larry Nance, who detailed it in the open coach. These are some big men who can pass. Dotson stops, works on Anderson, deals back to Nance, feeds the post. Drummond's there. There's a feed by Nance that set it up, and the Cavaliers are taking a 6-2 lead. Saturday in Milwaukee, played 41 minutes scored 21 points, maybe more importantly, dished out eight assists and did not turn the ball over as Larry Nance connects on a triple and he has been red hot. Drummond got a half step on Valanciunas, lost the ball, comes right back to Dotson who floats and scores and the Cavaliers have taken an early 11-3 lead and Taylor Jenkins has seen enough. Great to have you aboard, John Michael, Mike Fratello and Angel Gray. Good to be home as Osman steps into a three. Hey! Knocks it down. Pop back out, and that's just what Jetty did. Anderson thought about a three. Okoro talked him out of it. A runner is true. As Anderson got to the paint, he cuts the Cavs lead to a 14-9. It can't be mentioned that young man, Anderson, is always under control. He may not do it at 100 miles an hour, but he gets it done. Nance with another triple. Junior with a pair here early. All-rookie first teamer last year. Okoro now. Toward the bucket, Akuro puts it up with a left hand and gets the roll. Bain stops, deals to Clark. Clark in toward Akuro, stops, floats. Out here for the Cavaliers, joined by Dean Wade, Lamar Stevens, Damian Dotson, and Andre Drummond. Here's Lamar Stevens, the rookie out of Penn State, knocks down his first shot. Three-point shooter at TCU in four seasons. Drummond to the corner, finds Dotson. Long rebound corralled by Farrell. Farrell takes a 15-footer and a welcome to Cleveland, Yogi Farrell. Melton off a Tillman screen, gets to the elbow, hesitates, finds an open Tillman inside. He hammers it. A little confusion that time. That pass by Dotson is picked off by Melton. Up ahead to Allen. Allen flushes as JaVale McGee has checked in for the first time. They were in the play-in series against Portland. Had to win two against the Blazers to get in. Lost the first one, and that was it as Nance with an 18-footer again. After the free throws, McGee right to the basket. Cruises past Valanchunas. Out by Anderson. Anderson, Valanchunas, Melton, Allen, and Frazier for the visitors. Grayson Allen. The Grizzlies have their first lead. Anderson's watched by Dotson. Valanchunas wants it, he gets it inside, took a dribble, a pump fake, and Valanchunas gives the Grizzlies a 31-30 lead. Remember, there are so many similar plays being run from team to team, and this guy's been around the league for a while, so he, he'll pick it up very quickly. Brought home the title in at 2019, Okoro catch and shoot, the rookie Kansas. Without a turnover, and then they come down twice in a row and turn the ball over. Barreling to the basket goes Desmond Bain. He lays it in. The idea that you do not want to let Brooks free. You don't want him to get started as a shooter scorer because then he can have a huge night. Brooks feeds Tillman. He was a 2020 Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year out of Michigan State. Farrell off a Drummond screen. A 15-footer and Yogi makes it look easy. That was the fourth team foul on the Grizzlies in this second quarter. The next will put Memphis in the penalty. Drummond floats it up with the right hand and scores over Tillman. Anderson's wide open at his right toe on the line. It doesn't matter. He missed the shot, but Jones tracks down the long rebound, goes glass, and trips the Cavs lead to one. Tries to get himself loose to the baseline as Floater raises iron. Dean Wade in among the trees, grabs the loose ball. Drummond scoops it up, twists, floats, and scores. Got that shot to do it down in <laughs> San Antonio. Melton to the paint, his 10-footer. Melton gets the roll, and the Cavalier lead is cut back to one. And now it's Kyle Anderson. Anderson off to Jones to the bucket, and the Grizzlies have taken the lead. 
Number two, the Cavaliers are number one in the NBA in points off turnovers. As there's Drummond with the steal. A lot of those typically result from fast break points. None as Coach detailed in the first half. Drummond inside, lays it up and in, and the Cavaliers have taken a 48-47 lead. Anderson around the corner, finds a cutter in Clark. The angle's too tough. The defensive guy on top will steal it or deflect it. Well, Larry Nance got it done. Dotson with a long two. Brooks is watched by Okoro, veers off a Valanchunas screen. Now it's Valanchunas inside, took the uh, Jones pass. Clark on Nance, dribbled it off his knee as Nance stood his ground. Here goes Okoro to the bucket, and oh my, Okoro throws it down. Drummond gets it back, tiptoes the baseline, took a bump. J.B. Bickerstaff's hot, he thought that Drummond got fouled. Clark runs the floor. It's not gone to Jing, who stands at 6'10". Bounce pass finds Tillman. It was Jones who set up the play. 51 coming in. Uh-oh, that's a turnover by Nance. He's looking for McGee. They got their signals crossed up top to Clark. Clark finishes off the Jones alley-oop. Grizzlies 65, Cavaliers 53. As Drummond right to the bucket. And that's the way you want to come out of a timeout. Jones is 5 of 7 from the field. He has 11 points. McGee now in the paint. That rattles in. Now it's Brooks, chased by Nance. Extra pass to Bain, back it goes to Clark. Clark right to the bucket, and that was too easy. Now it's Osmond. Osmond off to Farrell. Farrell shakes, gets to the paint through traffic, puts it up and in, and Yogi Farrell has a chance for the three-point play. Bain to Anderson, now it's Melton. Melton got inside McGee, puts it up and puts it in. Good job by Melton to protect the basketball away from the seven-footer. And when McGee went down, it was Yogi that went in there, got a hand in court. Here's another steal deflection coming up. Osmond to the bucket. He gets fouled. Jetty lays it up and in, and Osmond has a chance for the three-point play. One of the fouls that originally had been charged to Valanchunas has been changed to Clark. So Valanchunas is out here with three fouls, not four, as Allen with a runner gives the Grizzlies a 77-68 lead. Osmond steps around a McGee screen. He pockets a three. And Osmond thought he might get fouled by that defender. Team four run, and they're right back within striking distance as we're underway here in the fourth. Dotson deals to Osmond. Osmond from three, and he knocks it down. Brooks trying to get loose. Down the lane he goes. McGee got a piece of that. Comes to Valanchunas, and he lays it in. Grabbing to his left knee, he gets up. And Walks it off. Clark takes the feed from Frazier. Only four Grizzly points tonight have come on field goals, not from three and outside the paint. Nance with a triple. That pass tipped by Okoro, grabbed by the rookie. The Cavaliers trail by two. Deflections lead to steals. Drummond inside and we're tied. Now Desmond Bain. Bain a six with width to shoot, picked off by Okoro. Out comes Okoro. Dotson trailing. He'll dump off to Osmond instead. Dotson inside. Banks it home and gives the Cavaliers an 84-81 lead. On the floor, Dotson goes to work on Melton. Cuts between two of the Grizzlies and lays it up and in. Dotson glides to the hole. You want to get the ball down low to your big man, get some fouls on Memphis' team so you can get to the line for those bonus opportunities. Melton rattles it in. And it's rebounded by Bain. Bain on the run to the bucket. Goes all the way, lays it up and in. Gets fouled by Drummond. Cavaliers set up shop. Drummond right through Valanchunas. He gets called for a block. Count the basket. And Drummond has a chance for three. Brooks gets doubled. Deals to Valanchunas. It's a cutter and Anderson. He'll curl to the corner. Three to shoot. Brooks will. Well, the Grizzlies wound up going through stretches where they played outstanding basketball for six, seven minutes at a time, and then those lapses.